Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 80. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 78 to 81. Hey, this is a great question someone said, and they said they had a database. And I just made a little database here, first name, last name, emails, but it was the email column that he was concerned with. He got bounced emails when he sent out a mail merge, and he wanted to highlight all of the emails that got bounced. Well, here it is. I made a little data set. It only goes down to, to row 33 here. His data set was huge, and he wanted to highlight the whole row with the color yellow if it was a bounced email from over here. Let's scroll over here and let's talk about the match, the match function, and the is number function. And then we'll figure out a formula, a good formula for um, conditional formatting. Here it is. I want to just have uh, use the match formula to see if I can find. And what match does is it tells you the position. So if I say use the match function here, find this email, it'll return the number two because it's in this original huge list and it's in the second position. So let's try it here. Equals match. Let me see if I can blow this up. Equals match. The lookup value is this. It says that's what we're looking up. And we want it relative, so when we copy it down, it'll tell me the number. And the lookup ray, I'm going to have to scroll over here. I'm going to click in the top of this huge column without the, the field name, just the first uh, record, and Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight the whole thing. Remember, this guy had like thousands of records here, so that would be a great keyboard shortcut. Then hit F4, which locks it and jumps the. Uh, the screen back to where we're making our formula. So that's the whole range. And then comma, match type exact, since we're dealing with words in essence. Close parentheses. Now I want to control enter, and then I want to click and drag this all the way down. Now notice it gives us NA for not available and numbers. Now, this isn't going to, how are we going to use this in conditional formatting? Hey, well, if we could figure out how to do a true and a false, um, notice this is a number here, and this is not a number. So let's click in this top cell right here and hit F2, which puts it into edit mode. And let's just use the is number. There's a bunch of true, false functions in Excel that just return true and false, which is remember what we need when we do conditional formatting. All we're doing right now in this column is saying, is the email in the original list? And so when there's a number, we want it to say true. So let's use is number. is, is, is number, is number. And so it's going to look at this match thing. Whenever it's a number, it'll say true. Whenever it's something besides a number, it'll say false. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. You can do that because there's formulas all the way down. So true, 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 false, 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 false. Well, now, this is kind of funny that we did this because that's not going to help us with conditional formatting. This true, false tells us for this huge list right here. But what we really want is we want to create a true, false that tells us exactly where which row it is in. For example, email 9 right here, we need it to say true. Not, it says false right now, so we need a formula that when it gets down to here, it'll say true, and then we can use that type of formula in our conditional formatting. Now, the trick here is uh, click here in F2. This match is look, ta taking these individual items from this list and looking through the whole entire list. If we just reverse that and have the match look at the individual items here and this whole list here, including all the blanks, that's the conceptual trick that'll get us a true false for conditional formatting. I'm going to hit tab and let's try it right here. The question here is what row is the bounced email in in the original list? So we'll do um, equals match. And then I'm going to scroll over. And instead of having the single value here, I'm going to scroll over. And from the original list, that will be our single value, comma. And the lookup array will be this entire uh, list right here, including all the blanks. And then hit F4. So that's the we're kind of switching it around to get a true false to tell us which row it's in. Now, exact, we want exact because in essence uh, they're words, which is text, and that's what we use during match. Control Enter, and now you can double click and send this all the way down because there's something to the left. Notice it worked all the way down when we double clicked our fill handle. Now look, there it's giving us these numbers, right? But 
if we could then copy and paste or use this type of formula over there in conditional format, it'll, it'll work fine because, uh, but we'd need an is number. So I'm going to click up here and hit F2, and let's just do is number. Is number. And then that way, remember, for conditional formatting, you are, always need true false formula. So this false. is a true false formula. Double click and send it down. That one works uh, because there's something below it now. Actually, something, yeah, to below it. So here it gives us a true, here it gives us a true, here it gives us a true, which is exactly what we want for our conditional formatting. So conditional formatting, we come over to original um, database without the field names and scroll all the way down. And remember, with conditional formatting, it's always that active cell right there that is where you're going to create the true-false formula in memory. Now, in 2003, you have to go to a format menu and conditional formatting. And in 2007, you go to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. But we're going to use the keyboard shortcut that works everywhere. That active cell is right there. So I'm going to Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D. In 2003, you click on the first text box, Is Formula. Here, we're going to click New Rule. And then click Use Formula. All right, so you ready? We're going to have to do equals is number. And this is where I'm going to get in trouble because I'm a bad speller. Is number and then match. Open parentheses. Now, you want to uh, find your list right here. So this whole column is the list. So you click just in that one cell. Notice it's going to highlight the whole row. We want it locked going across the columns, but not when it's going down. When it goes down, it needs to move to the next email. So watch this. With my cursor still flashing, I'm going to hit F4, F4. That dollar sign D and then an 11 without a dollar sign is very important. That's how you get a whole row to highlight with when using conditional formatting. Then we need to use our bounced email list. So I'm going to click and drag all the way down. And then hit, uh, it's already got it locked, so that'll work fine. Comma, zero, close parentheses, close parentheses. And uh, then we need to click. Um, Format, I'll put this formula in the cell and make it a little bit bigger in just a moment. I'm going to click Format, and then I want Fill. I'm going to click Yellow, Patterns. That tab was called Patterns in 2003. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Wow, look at that. So now, just as this person wanted, they had their uh, whole row of the database highlighted with uh, formatting based on this bounced email list that they have. Now I'm going to scroll over here and just put this formula right here and make the screen nice big so you can hit pause if you want to see how to do this control V. So that was the formula. The only difference between the formula we just did is we had to add, add a dollar sign right there. So that's how to highlight um, some emails, the whole row in a database based on a list of bounced emails. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.